Hello once again. This is your host, Jonathan Miller. I'm here with the Hometown of Story Journal to tell you another spooky tale. One that's terrifyingly delicious, served up for you. Cold. For as they say, revenge is a dish best served cold. This story is also cold and disgusting. Terrifying. He was towed at campfires at the Boy Scout camp to scare the young lads. <laughs> oh, gee, gee. Sorry, I don't know what that was. but So there's a story I wanted to tell you guys. And I figured the best way to do it is do a sort of spooky tale. Maybe not quite Old Man Bordner style, but close enough. So there's a story that they tell at the Boy Scout camp uh, in Camp Bayshore. That there is this guy, we'll call him Dennis. So Dennis went out, he was a wood woodcutter, which was one of those common professions back in the 1800s in the Greenpoint area. They would cut wood down for people like Joseph Johns that we just talked about, possibly his ghost being around. And uh, they would cut this down so they could make the charcoal. Well, on one particularly stormy night, sort of like tonight, rainy, sort of nasty, he decided, I'm going to go out and chop me some wood. He got warned. and said, Dennis, don't do it. It's a bad idea. You go out there, something bad's going to happen. It was one of those nights. Everybody was terrified. It was wet. Something bad was going to happen. But Dennis, being the stubborn guy that he was, and he was like, nope, I'm going to go out and chop me some wood. So Dennis went out, and he went and started chopping wood. Everything was going great. It was uh, fine, he was safe, so on and so forth. Unfortunately, Dennis didn't see a particularly slick piece of wood that was on the ground, and he slipped and he fell. And when he fell, he fell on the axe. Now, Dennis lost something when he fell on the axe. It wasn't a foot, it wasn't his head, it wasn't his guts. Or anything like that it was his hand the hand was gone and the terrifying thing is he never could find that hand now he stopped the bleeding and and all that and he went and got other people and they went looking to try to find his hand it was too late at that stage to be able to and back then they didn't reattach so he had to stub then but Dennis learned his lesson the hard way now the terrifying thing is the legend goes there is a hand a green hand sort of going around the whole Greenpoint Valley looking for its body. If you can't find it, he's long gone. No one knows where Dennis is buried, and the hand doesn't know either. So the hand continues to search the green hand. It was funny, the story got told the one night for the Boy Scouts, and my friend Bob was saying about it. Uh, him and his other other friend, they were in their cabin, and the Boy Scouts have green socks. So you're thinking about this story, and they took off their green socks, threw them on the floor, and I guess he woke up at night, and he saw this green thing on the floor, and was like, ah, it's a hand! It wasn't. It was just a green sock. But if you go around the Greenpoint area, and you see something scurrying, and it's unnatural, it might be the green hand. So that is the legend and the story of the Green Hand that is in Greenpoint Valley still looking for Dennis, its master. All right, thanks everybody for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this. Try to make it a little more fun, just a little different than uh, things. But this is the second one of Haunted History that we've done this year, and we're going to have plenty more that we'll be discovering and having a lot of fun with. So as always, thank you for coming along, and uh, we will see you all about town, maybe even the green hand.